Hey, this is Kevin Rail, Chief Fitness Advisor for Pipewalk Superfoods and Trade for Longevity. Today I'm going to be talking about five of the best kettlebell exercises to build muscle. And when I say five of the best kettlebell exercises, I'm talking about my favorite five best kettlebell exercises to build muscle. You may disagree with me, but I'm going to guess that these exercises I'm going to demonstrate are going to go pretty much across the board in helping you obtain the muscle mass that you're looking to do. So, the first one we're going to go into is the good old fashioned deadlift. So this is a really good exercise for building strength throughout the whole entire body and also muscle mass, especially in the posterior chain, the glutes, the hamstrings, the lower back, and even the lats as well. It's also good for posture and it's good for building strength and power if you're doing any kind of outdoor activities or playing sports. So this is what it looks like. We're going heavy with this drill. The deadlift is a full body compound exercise, so we're getting a lot of muscle recruitment and a lot of joint recruitment at the same time. So we can go a little bit heavier with this one. So I've got a 32 kilogram kettlebell here. And you can feel free to do two kettlebells at once once you start turning into little hops and you get, keep, keep getting stronger down the road. So what we're going to do is we're going to straddle the kettlebell with our feet approximately shoulder width apart, toes facing forward and parallel. We're going to hinge our hips, pushing them back. So we're not going to go like this and grab the kettlebell and lift it up because that would be a squat, which we'll get to in a second. This is a deadlift. So hinge the hips, push back, try to get your shins approximately vertical to the ground, perpendicular. And you want to get about a 45 degree angle on your femurs. Keep your back straight and your eyes looking forward. We're going to grasp the handle and then we're just going to take a big deep breath. Exhale as we come up. Lock. Slowly lower it down. Push your hips backward. Pull right up. Big inhale. Push your hips back. I actually have a mirror to my left here, so it's easier for me to judge my form when I'm doing this. So if you have a mirror available, I highly suggest you do a mirror with all of your kettlebell exercises. Okay? One more um, rep. Inhale down, exhale up. I'll do a side angle for you too. And watch as I push my hips back right there. Big inhale, exhale. Hips go back, lock, lower it down. So there you go, that's exercise number one. That is your kettlebell deadlift. Okay, we're on to our next exercise. This is arguably my favorite exercise in the whole wide world. Counting up all the exercises, not just kettlebells, just exercise in general. This is called the Turkish Get Up. The Turkish Get Up is a great exercise for building overall power and strength, and especially muscle mass in the lower body, and the hamstrings, the glutes, the quads, even the abs as well. Plus, it's really good for shoulder stability and mobility rolled into one. So, let's get to it. We're going to line our back, kettlebell to our side, approximately line with our chest. Put your feet flat on the floor, knees bent, head on the ground as well. We're going to roll. roll over into a field position, grabbing the handle of the kettlebell, pistol gripping it with our other hand, and then we're going to tuck it into our chest like this. Now we're going to press it straight above our head with both hands, form a straight line from our hand all the way down our shoulder, and then pull our shoulder blade into the ground. That's called packing your shoulder, making sure to keep it, keep it, keep it safe as we do the drill. Now, with our opposing limbs, we're going to extend our right leg out about 45 degrees with our toes facing up, and we're going to place our hand on the ground, arm parallel to our leg. Now we're going to roll up our forearm, make a straight line, again, and put your elbow to your hand. Keep this knee as vertical as possible. Now we're going to press our hand into the ground, corkscrew it, make a straight line here. We're going to go to a high bridge. We're going to slide this foot through, point your toes toward this um, heel, and we're going to swing our knee out so it points to this hand. Then we're going to come up and then swivel this back foot, make a straight line from your hand, from your foot to your knee. And then we're going to press our weight into our foot, stand up. Bring our feet together. Now we're going to reverse the process. Big step back with this leg. Slightly place your knee on the ground. Slowly swivel your foot as you put your hand on the ground. Straight line from hand to hand. Kick this leg through. Sit your butt right back down. Spin your elbow back out to make sure that your arm is parallel to your leg. Look up your kettlebell. And then lower yourself down. Pull this foot up. Grab your kettlebell with two hands for safety purposes. Tuck it in. Roll over. And then we'll scrape the kettlebell around on this side, rehook it, pistol grip it, press it, and then repeat on that side. So that right there is your Turkish kettle. Okay, our third exercise is called a renegade row. I really love these exercises for building strong lats and you're building your arms as well, and you're also really getting a good core improvement all at the same time, all rolled into one. These really get the heart rate up too, so they're good incinerators of fat. If Losing fat is something that you aspire to do. So, 
these drills, again, we go a little bit heavier with these. And ideally, you want to get kind of bigger kettlebells, to be honest with you, to help balance your system out when you're doing this drill. Because what we're going to be doing is pulling one kettlebell up off the ground as the other one is pressed ground against the ground. I'm using lighter ones just for demo purposes, but these are a little more dangerous than heavier ones, to be honest with you, because the heavier ones have a wider base on them, and they're going to give you more stability. So, for demonstrating purposes, I'm going light. Anyway, here's what the drill looks like. We're going to place the kettlebells approximately a little more narrow than shoulder width apart, right under your body right here, and then you're going to come out into a little wider than shoulder width position with your feet as well. Now, you want to maintain a nice straight posture from your shoulders down to your heels as you do this. So what we're going to do is keep one kettlebell pressed against the floor, and we're just going to pull one up like this by your side. We're going to lower it down, and then we're going to switch to the other side. And every time you do this, you want to keep your body as still as possible. So you don't want to do like something like this, rotating. You want to keep your body firm as you pull the kettlebell up. And you want to go slow and steady, nothing fast and choppy. Just like that. And the fun thing about this drill is you can also incorporate push-up, and then you get a little chest activity as well. So you can do a push-up, and then you can do your animated one. Just like that. And then we're going to get really So then it becomes both a chest and a back exercise all into one. So that's our third drill that is called a kettlebell renegade. Okay, we're on to our fourth exercise. We're going to be using two kettlebells for this drill as well. And it is a double clean and press. And this is a really good drill for building big old strong manly shoulders. And it also works your triceps and your core as well because we're going to be doing a nice core contraction as we press the kettlebells above our head. And it gets a little bit more arm improvement involved too. So we can just go with the military press, which is totally fine. But I like the back swing of the clean when we break it up like this, because then we're going to fire up our uh, regular radialis a little bit more in our forearms and also our biceps. So here's what it looks like. We're going to stand with our feet all shoulder width apart. We're going to grab our kettlebells. Back swing, we come to a clean position, a rack position that is. Rack. Now we're going to press them. Tuck them in. Now we're going to back swing. Clean. Press. Back swing. Clean. Press. And when you press them, try to keep your arms in line with your ears or slightly behind them and really squeeze your abs as you're pressing those kettlebells up to increase your power output and to um, also improve your posture as well. So here's what it looks like from the side angle. Back swing. Clean. Clean, press, so there you have it, that's exercise number four, the double kettlebell clean and press. Okay, here we are, exercise number five. I alluded to this exercise in our first drill, which was the deadlift. Now we're going to move on to the double kettlebell squat. So the squat, obviously, is a really good drill to build powerful legs, lower body strength, and just all around mass on your body. So I like to use two at a time because we can start out light and we can progressively get heavier as we go along and again as we become more hawks down the road. So this is what it looks like. We're going to get into the rack position with our kettlebells. Now we're going to keep our feet about shoulder width apart. You can turn your toes out slightly if you need to to make sure you have enough room to keep your elbows down. So we're going to take a big inhale as we lower ourselves down. Get your elbows down about to your knees, and then drive up. And you want to try to keep your back as straight as you can. And a trick of the trade that I like to do is keep your eyes fixed on a point that's about 45 degrees up in the air when you're doing your drill, because that's going to improve your posture of your back and your whole mechanics of the exercise. From the side angle, it'll look like this. When you're done, say to the back swing the kettlebells, place them on the ground. So that right there is your double kettlebell squat. And this whole thing was five of the best exercises to build overall strength and muscle in your body and improve your brain function too. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit me up anytime. My name is Kay Rail, I'm the Chief Fitness Advisor for Prime Long Superfoods and Train for Longevity. Make sure to like and share our page and spread the word to all your friends and family members. Until next time.